Yes, and welcome to another video of pushing the chaps and stano. It today I'm gonna teach you guys how to push it to well how to make a base which will keep up in the higher leagues. I'm currently in master one, so it's getting pretty tough up here. First thing you want to know is put your clan castle, if I can find it, in the center. Always. This is like the most essential thing that you're gonna need to do. Next, put wizard towers around it. Wizard towers work really great even in higher leagues level 6 wizard towers will defend your base pretty decently of course not as good as well how they do in lower leagues but will do a decent job at defending your base really it surprised me a lot because well barbarians level 7 will just walk through your mortis like it's nothing because they I think they need 4 shots on them or something but these wizard towers even though they do a little less damage anymore that they hit so fast that they'll absolutely destroy those incoming barbarians which is a great thing because well a lot of people farm up here yeah it makes me sad every time because well I spent so much time pushing up here and there's people farming yeah tough life but on the other hand, they're maxed out on tens, about max most of the time. Well, let's not close this off entirely, but make it like this. I like this setup a lot more, because you can put one building right here, and also you can put traps right here very nicely. First, you always want to do your wall setup, just because, well, you want your clan castle to be unlearable. As you can see, I keep clicking it to check if it is actually not lurable let's see is this the same one two three four five one two three four five six nope you're getting one bigger and I make it like this you really want an open setup because well you need to build a giant base your base needs to be so big that your clan castle troops are unlurable making it a lot harder for the attacker to well beat your base so as I'm gonna finish this up does it? yes it does I don't know why but for some reason this compartment seems to be bigger but they're the exact same size weird stuff let's put this right here and let's make it like that to make it a little bit sectioned off let's put one this is yeah can still put a defense there still can put, can put one here and let's also make that kind of little well extra thingy of traps and stuff right here I can't make it entirely sadly with these walls don't forget I'm designing this base live so yeah it, if things don't fit that's the reason why let's see put my king right here let's see he's pretty well covered right there I think that's a nice, pla nice place for him let's put a model right here but uh, basically about the things that you need to be aware of when building a base to defend up here is one you're not gonna win defenses you want to put your tunnel outside always because well that's the only way you're getting one start yeah it's pretty depressing when you talk about it like that but that's just the truth because well as soon as somebody attacks you with freaking level 7 troops no way <laughs> that your defense are gonna keep up against that because the troops are just way too powerful for your defense to handle so even if you build like even if there was like a perfect base and it would be absolutely flawless it still wouldn't defend up here as it, if it's a tunnel 8 base of course flawless tunnel 10 base will defend perfectly up here it's also something I would not suggest pushing up here if you are not sure about well if you're a good attacker because you need to be 
you need to be the best attacker that you will ever have been are that you have ever been you need to believe in yourself young balloon so after that we <laughs> but I'm back in the video and a really important thing is you're gonna lose defense don't get discouraged because you're gonna get revenged and people for some reason like it to revenge you from freaking gold league and stuff and take like 40 cups away from you don't get discouraged by that never but as I was saying yeah that's gonna happen and it's gonna suck and you're probably gonna get freaking depressed and go cry in the corner wait am I the only one doing that? Oh. oh well whatever <laughs> I guess I'm just weird but anyway <laughs> let's get back into the building as I'm putting the final buildings you really want to put as much as possible buildings inside of your walls in reach of your defenses just because well yeah there's just one really good reason for that and that's the fact that it will be harder for them to get to 50% so they won't be as tempted to just grab a, fine, a couple of inside buildings and get 50% so also this is I hate this <laughs> eh, I really want them to overlap right there but I guess I'm just gonna fill that with builders in a sec let's see the on this side right here lower side bottom side south side well I'll just call it the south in the south the tribes of elixir collectors were having a peaceful dinner wait what? makes no sense at all but as the base is coming to an end I'm just gonna do a couple finishing touches like putting builder shots inside and spread out really so something that a lot of people seem to forget is they put their builder shots inside but they put them like this like if I'm at 49% I'll just if I'm at like 46% 49% is not a good <laughs> example I'll just freaking throw a lightning spell right here and I'll destroy this one, this one and this one and I'll get like freaking 6% or something so that's pretty stupid and I don't know why I did that in the first place but I'll just put one right here that will fill it up or I can put actually do I have any three buildings? nope I've got it like, oh no I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take you you're gonna stand here then I'm gonna grab the fat as lab because the lab is fat and everybody knows the lab is fat so I'm just gonna put a bomb right here and a bomb right there and bomb 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 I'm just gonna randomly paste those bombs around in my village actually there really no logic don't try to find any logic in my mind my, my placement because there is no and you probably go insane trying to find it because there is none oh my god I said it there is no logic in finding logic in my traps or something but anyway I should really stop trying to be funny <laughs> but I'm pretty much enjoying myself and I've almost completed building this base and I'll just put a mega bomb right here and air bombs right here 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 and here oh, I should have put a bomb right there ah whatever and I'm gonna put a seeking air mine right here and right here and I'm gonna put my skeleton traps here and here and I put one ground and one air because well they'll help against every sort of attack I'm gonna put wait I've got a better idea you go away let's put it like this and where did my spring trap go it disappeared because reasons and I'm gonna put this one right here and right here I don't know if it will work 
as I'm, as you guys might see, this is a base I haven't tested yet. I'm gonna test it though. So if you're not sure if you want to copy this village and you're like, yeah, but it sucks. It probably sucks in defense, not even against the freaking town of one. Then you're probably a liar because well, it will defend against the town of one. Every base will defend against the town of one. I can freaking have level one cannons and defend against the town of one because you can't attack players at town of one. Yeah. You need to be town of two for that, everybody knows that. Yeah. But as I was saying, the army camps really suck at their placement right now because I've got a lot of trees and yeah. Reasons. I should really clear this jet box, but I don't have a builder. <laughs> well, if you have a builder put it right here. But I don't have a builder. So I'm gonna put it right there. Also, put your loot on this side. Sometimes there's people who are farming here and they're nice and stuff and they'll just get your loot and get 40%. It won't even happen often. But you have to believe. And when one of those finds you, you really want to thank them by not revenging their base, even though they have an outside town hall. So they keep doing what they are doing and don't get... yeah. You can actually take the town hall and be like me and be a scumbag <laughs> by thanking them by taking their town hall. But if you take the town hall, don't go for 50%. Really, that's like the most scumbag move you could do. It's really, somebody puts his town hall outside f just for you to take. And you're gonna revenge them and you're gonna go ahead and get two stars. That's really not the way, a nice way to go about it and you shouldn't do it because well I believe those people won't put the tunnel outside anymore but as I was uh, saying this is the base and I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna hope it's gonna work and I'll see you guys in the next video where this base is tested uh,